Okay, Ralph, we have here a typical machine setup. What are the components? How do we set it up? Okay, we have two main components. One is the motor under test we would mm -hmm. like to test. And the second component, which is also very necessary, is our servo machine test system, which consists of the servo motor and the control unit here. Mm -hmm. For powering the motor, we use here a switch and a power supply, which connect three-phase system to the motor. Also, for the uh, machine test system, we need a three-phase power. Should we try to set it up together? Yeah, just okay. try it here. Thank Take you. the coupler. Okay, so I have to make sure that the coupler is positioned correctly. And then you can move it together. A little bit careful where it fits and then you can bring it together. And then fix, fix the screw. And then, then the shaft cover. take the shaft cover correctly. And bring it in position. Okay. okay. Is the shaft cover for the safety? Yes, the shaft cover is for the safety so it closes completely between mm -hmm. the servo machine test the system gap. and okay. the motor. And also the green light indicates that everything is fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Uh, and on the motor sides, can you explain these connections to me? Mm -hmm. On the motor sides, each of our motors has temperature contacts, mm -hmm. which is connected directly to the control unit. And then we have the normal contacts for the motor, mm -hmm. for supplying the motor. And here on this side, we have the protected earth to have yes. the safety also for the motor. Okay, and is this unit also connected to the computer? It is connected to the computer, but we will use it in the first time without the computer. Without the computer, okay. So this is the minimal setup for This is a minimum the setup, yes. Okay. So for example, we can load the motor the first time. So we have to switch on the power, power supply. Mm -hmm. Then we can switch on the motor. Mm -hmm. And on the display, we can see speed. Speed control. And torque. Mm -hmm. So if we press the one button here, we can load the motor. So just setting up a, di a different then speed, mm -hmm. and then we get directly also the relevant torque. Mm -hmm. We have also a second possibility with the advanced view to get mechanical data and also all the electrical, electrical data, data on the display. And so it's very easy to load motor getting characteristic step by step and that's all you can do what I all the things you can do we have here also different modes speed or mode yeah, torque control. mode and synchronization mm -hmm. torque mode is used for DC machines for example or synchronous machine and sync mode is specially for synchronizing generators to the grid so Impressive. just switch it off and this is very easy to use the system manually. Mm 